To pin or not to pin? That is the question. This little object, the safety pin, has become a symbol of support for all the groups marginalized after the election of Donald Trump. There has been a wave of hate crimes against these groups by segments of Donald Trump's base. Now, many people are considering wearing safety pins as a way of showing their support, but there's a lot of criticism of safety pin wearing as well. And there are a lot of folks who are saying, well, you should wear the safety pin, or you shouldn't wear the safety pin. I'm not here to do that. I'm here to help you decide whether you want to wear the safety pin. How do you make your own decision to wear the safety pin? I'm not telling you what to do, just helping you make the choice for how to do it, one that, that fits your values and your needs, and helps you avoid the four dangers of wearing the safety pin in an unintentional manner. So, danger one, not knowing your motivations and your goals. Most people are not wearing the safety pin in an intentional manner. They're falling for what's called the bandwagon effect. They're basically just jumping on the bandwagon along with other people who are wearing the safety pin. But each person really has different motivations for wearing the safety pin. For example, you might want to stand up for the rights of minority groups, or you might show your disagreement with the election of Donald Trump as president, or you might want to show that you're open-minded and tolerant to your friends. Those are three different things, and you need to know what you want, what your values are. Why do you want to wear the safety pin? Be intentional in making your choice to wear the safety pin. So, that's danger one. Danger two, not being prepared to face criticism. Now, we talked about the third choice of signaling yourself as being open-minded and tolerant. Well, that's a kind of thing called virtue signaling, where you're using the safety pin, this object, to show yourself as virtuous to others without potentially doing anything else to stop the spike in hate crimes. And you need to be aware that some people who share your values will criticize you for wearing the safety pin. Whether you're only signaling virtuousness or actually doing other things to help make a big difference, you need to be prepared for criticism. Next, danger free, not being prepared for hate crimes themselves. Now, most hate crimes are of two kinds, intimidation or assault. Are you prepared to face intimidation? A classic de-escalation tactic for facing intimidation is just simply standing next to the person being assaulted. Avoid showing emotions or responding to provocations to avoid conflict. So, that's intimidation. What about assault? Assault? That's physical violence. Some people say you should definitely engage in physical assault if you wear in physical violence, if you wear safety pins. I'm not one of these people. I would suggest that you make a decision on whether you want to do that or not, but the least you can do is call the police when you see someone being assaulted. That way you avoid the psychological phenomenon known as the bystander effect, where people just don't call anyone even if they see a crime happening. Don't be that person. Call the police. Finally, you want to avoid the fourth danger, not having a plan of action. Many pin wearers who don't know their motivations, aren't prepared to face criticism, aren't prepared to face hate crimes, they don't have a good way of making a decision of whether they should even wear the pin or where or when to wear it. Knowing your motivations will help you determine your plan of action of where, when, and whether you want to wear the pin. That way, you can honor your individual interpretations and values in wearing the pin, as well as the broader safety pin movement. And that's what I wanted you to to tell you to avoid the four dangers, the four hidden dangers of wearing the pin in an unintentional manner. So be intentional. Choose to wear the pin with pride if you do choose to wear it. And to find out more content about making wise decisions about how to achieve your goals, check out Intentional Insights at intentionalinsights.org. Thank you and good luck.